A warm welcome to everyone, uh, to our listeners. I'm LCB and uh, we're going to have a very interesting conversation because the last time we promised you, uh, our listeners, that we will be talking about Namibia uh, classified or the argument around it, the debate around it. Is Namibia a middle income country? A warm welcome to you, Mr. Daniel Steinman. Thank you, LCB. <laughs> I hope you're not expecting from me to tell you whether we are or not. Uh, well, we, 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 we should hope that you will give us an understanding around the argument, rather. Let's, let's look at the, the mechanism that is employed to determine worldwide mm. um, which countries are low income and middle income and high income. Yeah. So there are two benchmark values. Mm. And this is mostly a classif- classification used by the IMF. Mm. Now you have to remember every year in October, end of October, beginning of November, an IMF team comes to Namibia for the so-called Article 4 consultations. Mm. Now that is part of their job to come and not make a new assessment but to come and validate Mm. the assessments made by a visiting IMF team earlier in the year. Mm. So there's a team that comes in and they talk to the Ministry of Finance and they talk to the National Planning Commission and to the Statistics Agency and then in the private sector they talk to people whom they choose. And that will typically be um, the MDs of banks, the governor of the Bank of Namibia, Mm. the chief executive of the development bank, so people that are leading figures in finance Mm. but with a very big impact on development. Yeah. So in the end of October the the consultation team comes in, the Article 4 team, and they discuss their results with the Minister of Finance. Mm -hmm. And a whole group of advisors and people who work on the national accounts and 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 it's about 200 individuals in Namibia that they talk to so it is not an opinion or they don't put out a report based on one person's Mm. opinion Mm. or the minister and two of his advisors yeah it's a very wide spectrum Mm. the reason why I am giving you all this detail is to illustrate or demonstrate that the outcome of the Article 4 consultations with the IMF is very serious. Mm. That outcome determines the ability of Namibian institutions to turn available capital into development capital at a certain rate. Now, mm. that sounds a bit technical and I can see your, your eyes are, <laughs> are like an old pinball machine. <laughs> they go ding, 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 ding. <laughs> um, so let's see, what does it mean? Mm. There are two benchmark values. The one is 4,000 US dollars and the other one is 12,000 US dollars. Okay. So if GDP uh, per capita mm. Now, I don't want to bore you. I I know I've given you many lessons in the basics. But for for the sake of our listeners, Mm. you get GDP, gross domestic product. Mm. That means that is basically the turnover of the whole country if you view Namibia as a business. I'm fond of calling it Namibia Incorporated. (laughs) So the turnover of Namibia Incorporated is the GDP of Namibia, the country. Mm. And if you divide that by the number of souls who are Namibians, then you get to a GDP per capita. Mm. I think I I gave you the Latin lesson last week or or a month ago. eh? Capita is just the Latin word for head. Mm. Yeah, so it means per person. Per person. Mm-hmm. That is, is what it means. And um, if you take the, the raw data mm-hmm. and you do that exercise, you come to a figure of 4098 US dollars mm-hmm. GDP per capita. Mm-hmm. So that immediately shows to you that we are marginally just, 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 just into that or above that lower bracket of what is a middle income country. Okay, okay. So immediately that opens the door to look at it from different angles, mm. to look at it from from political angle, but also from a societal angle, mm. you know. I almost want to 
be very coarse and say that we scratch through on our backsides mm. to be classified as a middle income country. Okay. But now remember what, what I said about the um, Article 4 consultations. Mm. They will not talk to us if we insist that we are a low income country. Mm. Why? Because the data says we are a middle income, income country. country. Regardless if we made it with less than $100. Mm, okay. you know, so do you see, the, the old debate becomes a bit ridiculous. Yeah. So it means that if you want to gain some practical value from it, you have to look through a different set of uh, spectacles, mm. glasses. You mm. know, you have to put on, on a different frame, not, not rose-colored glasses, but um, you have to look at it within the context where Namibia is in terms of its development Development. curve. Mm. You know, that's very important. Mm. Otherwise, it is just an academic exercise Mm. and it loses all practical relevance. Okay, so uh, losing all practical relevance. Uh, We will continue this discussion once we go for a short break. So do not go away. We'll be back after these.